in the Mercedes-Benz Interview Lounge. Let's talk about the Trevor Project. It, you were saying a, a second ago, this is it could not be better timing. I know. It's, it's so timely. So the Trevor Project is a foundation that um, is, it's a hotline for uh, suicide prevention, and they have a focus in LGBTQ youth. But, you know, if there's any youth out there who um, are struggling or suffering, it's an open hotline. And it really couldn't be more timely with the um, really tragic deaths of um, Kate Spade, Kate Spade, and Alex Bourdain. Right. Um, and it's it's a perfect time right now to have this open conversation about mental health and how important it is. And it really can be like an invisible sort of burden and killer. That um, you, we really need to have this open conversation. We need to have an open discussion about um, um. About mental health, and that's why I'm so excited that we're having this this dinner tonight, and it's gonna I hope help a lot of young kids. Trevor Project, yeah. of course, has a track record of producing miracles. Actually, I mean, yeah. uh, not only is are they there with the hotline, but if you just watch their social, their outreach, the social outreach is just phenomenal. Yeah. They do a great job with it. They really, really do. And you know what? We, we talk about this a lot on our show, uh, Adam. Mental health is just something that for so many years people have been sweeping under the rug. Mm-hmm. And if you're older, like me. I remember the day in... Why are you smiling? I'm very old. I remember the day and age when... No, listen, listen. This is very important. Okay, okay. Breast cancer was something no one talked about back in the day. Yep. They would actually whisper the word cancer. The, yeah, the C word. You don't say the it. The C word. You don't say it. Right. And then when it became part of the conversation, it became part of our lives. That's when people started stepping up going, yeah, cancer, you know, F cancer. Let's, mm-hmm. let's do what we can to get money to people who can... Figure it out, you know, yeah. and I'm hoping this is where mental health conversation is going. I agree. And I think it's so important that um, different things that we go through, I think it's important to remember that a lot of us go through them and that if you share your story, it could inspire somebody else to share their story. And that could help a lot of people. Yeah. Um, because I think especially with mental health, a lot of people suffer silently and alone. And they think that they're weak or they think that they aren't good enough. But if they, they reach out, um, they can get the help that they need. And especially um, with LGBTQ youth, a lot of um, young people can just feel like, you know, it's just not worth going on. And that the way that they feel right now is not going to change. But if they can reach out to a mentor or to somebody who can help them or and lead them in the right direction, that can be a pivotal and such an important like life change and therapists are saying now with all the craziness going on in this world that kids and young people are the most affected and they're having they have they're needing more therapy and they have more anxiety whether you're gay whether you're straight whatever because of the way this world is Mm -hmm. and they they all need some place to reach out and it's it's hard sometimes kids kids find it hard to to talk about these things you know and you know and and part of the conversation with someone who is depressed living with depression or just sad it's like i don't want to be a burden on anyone right and i this is why this is another reason i love adam because he'll walk you'll walk into a room i must assume and say hey i'm here to be a burden and i'm happy <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I think it's worth it's worth it's it's worth you paying attention to me yeah. it's worth you listening to me and a burden of course is wait over over drum but i'm just saying you yeah, know what a burden no <laughs> He if, meant that in a positive uplifting. way. Uplifting. Yeah. Uplifting. No, no matter what you're going through in your life, you're never a burden. You're you're you're, no. you're cool. You're good. Yeah. You know, don't be afraid to say, hey, I need a little help here. That's where people have I a think difficult like time. We so struggle, all of us, asking for help. It sucks and it's kind of it feels embarrassing sometimes, but it's not. It's actually one of the strongest and most powerful things you can do is asking somebody for help when you need it. Yeah. Right. Look, I know tonight's gala is going to be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. It's gonna, it's a gala. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's going to be a lot of fun. But it, it's really, you could not have, you could not, you could not have chosen a more worthy, more incredible organization, I, in my opinion. Oh, I agree. I think that's why I'm a part of the dinner tonight. Um, I, I, I think that it's really important to me to do things that like really hit home for me or and, or and feel like they can really help a lot of people. Um, and, you know, on a serious note of like kind of that explosion that happened at the Olympics, I feel that like it's really important to me to be able to like help and, and give back. And that's the most important to me. And that even comes before money, which is saying a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Good.
<laughs> I'm, I like your priorities are falling in the, the perfect order. Yeah. Money's secondary. Yeah. Maybe, where's love? You got love in there somewhere? Yeah, the whole thing is love. Okay. All Money's right. love, it's baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, look, uh, it's very important, just like uh, Adam has decided to do, you should uh, dig deep with Trevor Project. They do so many things. They have their Trevor Lifeline. You can go on and text them, whatever you need. Trevor Space. All sorts of resources for anyone and everyone who's going through the struggle uh, or just want to learn more. Just yeah. do a Google on the Trevor Project and find out more about that. That's so cool. Trevor Live, uh, that's tonight with, uh, of course, Adam Rippon and Gus Kenworthy. And Rita Ora's in town. What?